Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trimming and shaping my Chihuly Rose tree. Now, it's got a lot of foliage, so this is gonna kill me to do this. And I'm just gonna jump right in there so that I can get this done and over with and make this into a short video. Now, the way that you wanna cut down your rose bushes is that you wanna cut anything that's diseased, dead, or any cross-bearing stems to prevent from any diseases happening or damage for that matter. So I will be cutting this down, way down. It's gonna kill me to do it because it does look beautiful right now. But as you notice this stem right here, it's really bearsome. So hopefully by cutting it down to this node, we'll encourage some new foliage coming out here as well as over here. So there's a lot of stems that are gonna be needing to be cut way down. Now there's no right or wrong way to cut a rose bush. So uh, I wouldn't worry so much. I know that I encourage you guys to cut at a 45 degree angle when pruning, but if you cut in an angle, you always wanna make sure that you are going to be doing it in the node where it looks like it has an outer encourage uh, possible branch that's gonna come out. For me, today, I'm just gonna cut straight across. And somebody started their um, lawnmower, but that's okay, we're gonna get through this. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is consider safety first. So I've got my gloves on because otherwise you could get thorned to death. The other thing is that you want clean nippers. I've already sanded these down, and then I'm just going to wipe them with some rubbing alcohol so that I don't get any cross contamination from anything that I had cut this with previously. So I am going to go ahead and trim this. Um, I did trim a lot of this last fall, so I'm not gonna have a lot of cross bearing stems. However, I do see some stems that are dead. So this stem right here, if you notice, is pretty, dry and the way i know it is because it's got if you notice the tip of it it's got a hole in it that means that it's dead so i'm going to be cutting that really close to the base right here i'm also going to be taking any cross bearing stems such as this one here it's crossing and i'm going to bring you really close so you can see this so do you see these two limbs right here they're cross bearing so as much as it's going to kill me to cut this i'm going to keep this because this is going straight up this is crossing it so as much as i want to keep it i'm going to cut it down to about right here hopefully to encourage some growth over here uh, it does look like i have another um, possible branch coming over in this side you can't really see it from your angle and I also have one coming out this way. So I'm going to cut it right here. So it's up to you to pick and choose of where you want to cut a rose bush, but this will definitely need to be cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that there. Now this is really long and bearsome. This has some nodes here, some outer nodes. It's got some new starting growth right here. So I'm going to take that all the way down to that node right there. Put my gloves on. You also want to use safety glasses. I have glasses on, so I think I'm safe. Now, this has nothing on it. It has a lot of encouragements over here, a lot of growth. But I have possible growth down here, so I'm just going to cut it straight across right there. Same thing here, this has, this has nothing, but it has nodes that I can see where there's some encouragement. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that all the way down to that. And you wanna do it about a quarter from the node. This one, pretty bursome. I'm gonna take it down to that node. This one here, same thing. You can't see it from your angle, but uh, there is a new node here that's going outward. 
so I don't really want it to go out. I don't want the stem to go out. I want to create more of a circular. So I'm going to take it way down to the, to the other node because it has one going out this way. Now, yeah, will it cross this stem? Yeah, it probably will, but we'll see what happens down the season. I may have to cut it further out. So this one has a node here and a node there. So I'm gonna take it down to, to this to this one outer one. Cut that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then I will show you the end results. Now this, it's got, let me see. This I'm gonna just cut all the way off. And this I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, I wanna encourage more foliage down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that down to there. This one I'm gonna cut way down here. And this one has an outer uh, node and it's got another node here. It'll encourage some plants there. This I'm gonna take it out because it's dead. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take that down from there and I'm gonna take it down to there. Now this one is almost crossing, so I have to pick and choose. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way down to there because it'll encourage some new growth over here on these nodes down here. This one here, I'm gonna go ahead and take right here. This here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here. We don't want anything shooting out there. We kinda of wanna encourage things to go out this way. This I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit further down because I've got a, a bud coming out this direction. And that's gonna do it. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else I need to cut? Uh, I'll cut this little nub here because that's really not necessary. In fact, that whole stem is really pretty much dead. So I'm gonna take it as far down as I possibly can. This here, this nub, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. It's not necessary. It's dead. And, you know what? These two are going across. That one's got something going on here. And, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at this. Let me stand back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut this down to here. And uh, yeah, it looks like it might be good enough. Now it looks like I butchered it, but trust me, it's gonna look beautiful further down in the season. We just started spring, so this is the right time to do this. And I can't wait to see what comes of this Chihuly roast tree. So I will keep you posted, obviously. I will be working in my garden this year, so you will get to see the progress as well. So with that said, I will see you when I see you on my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye-bye for now. Ladies, you guys, you guys cannot be here. No, you can't be digging around because I've got flowers growing here. Yeah, come on, out, out. I know.